Code Silver is the Healtheast Emergency Code for an active shooter or act of violence. This would be a situation where a person or a group of individuals have a gun or other weapon on one of our campuses or other buildings. Active violence is relatively rare compared to other types of emergencies that we see in a care environment. However, just like we do drills for fire, for tornado, you know, code red, code black, we also have to establish a level of readiness, a level of preparedness relative to violence, active violence. In a hospital setting, the run response may apply. This is Woodwind's ER, we have a man with a gun. If you're in the cafe, if you're in administration, if you're in a common area, depending on where the threat is at in the building, it may make the most sense at that time to run, to find a path of escape, to evacuate. To prepare for this type of response, get to know your unit. Talk to your coworkers. Attention personnel, code silver, code silver. Emergency department, code silver, Code silver. If you are on your unit and you hear an overhead page for a code silver, locking down and sheltering in place is your safest option for you, your patients, your peers, and visitors. In an inpatient unit, we have the ability to close, lock, and barricade more doors than in other areas. We also have an additional responsibility to keep our patients safe. The strategy of sheltering in place has the greatest potential for protecting both staff and patients on this type of unit. Okay, okay. Where's the suspect? Where's you around there. Around there. When the police arrive on scene in an act of violence, it's important to remember that the police are there to stop the violence first and foremost. And they may be bypassing victims and other people. When you're interacting with the police, it's very important that you show that you're not a threat by having your arms raised, your hands visible to the officers, and then obey all the officers' commands. We need to be willing to accept the fact that an active shooter may come into the hospital or on campus someday. And to be prepared for that, we meet, need to ask ourselves some questions and to assess our environment. Where could I and my patients go to escape and evacuate? Where could I go to hide out if an active shooter was nearby? What doors lock? What doors do not? What could be used to barricade a shooter from entering a room? If I had four patients on a given day, who could I move into another room? And how would I get them there? So by assessing your environment on a frequent basis and asking yourself those questions, you will be more prepared for a code silver. These situations are fast and dynamic in nature. Whatever you can do to help yourself, please do. Leave the area immediately, shelter in place, and as a last resort, fight back. The run, hide, fight strategy is the best tool that we can give to our employees to prepare for this type of emergency situation. It's a flexible and dynamic tool that can adapt to the specifics of any type of actively violent situation. The last aspect of the policy is to act or to fight. We are not prescribing that we train everyone to be engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the suspect, but what we are saying is be prepared, have a plan of action. Look around your surroundings. Is there something that you can improvise as a weapon? And just remember that if you're left in this scenario, you may be in the fight for your life, literally. So together, we can attain a very high level of preparedness for our patients, for the visitors, other community members that we serve, and for our team.